Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. All right, Kiki and I have something really cool to share with you today. Have you ever heard of Record of the Month clubs? There's actually a few of them out there that'll send you records every month, and it's like a subscription. But instead of being like a magazine every month, you get records. And there's a lot of different types that they do, but the most interesting one to me was this one called the Vintage Record Club, and they send you vintage records every month. And I'm gonna show you all about it in just a minute. Welcome to Recordology. All right, guys, and here it is. This is our package from Vintage Record Club. And boy, is this exciting to see show up in the mail. VintageRecordClub.com, handle with care. I love this sticker right here. Handle with care, Vintage Record Club, restored music history inside. So yeah, what's really interesting, what sets these guys apart is that the records that you're getting are actually vintage used records, but they go through a very special five-step restoration process. Check this out. Thanks for your interest in Vintage Record Club. We hope you enjoy the big band records we have for you. Please let us know what you think. Your friends at Vintage Record Club. Now, isn't that cool, guys? Okay, let's see what we got. Mancini, wow, cool. Look at this, you guys. I love how it's like tied with a string. I mean, this is like special. This isn't just like eh, some junk we threw in here. This is like curated by hand. And they have curators that go out into the wild and do the searching for you, which is really, really cool. This is a cool way to augment your record hunting. And wouldn't this be great? Like if you're in an isolated place where you can't get to vintage record, or you can't you know, go record hunting, what a unique way to do it. Um, they could do the uh, crate digging for you. So every one of these has a sticker uh, that verifies that it's past their um, you know, cleaning process, the restoration process. They replace the paper label if it needs to be replaced. They put it in a slip case and then it's signed by, in this case, Melissa, uh, who completed the whole process and here we go. So we got Mancini, cool. Oh, okay guys, they know me well, Glenn Miller. This is awesome. Okay, this is getting exciting here. And what do we got, Sammy K? All right, we just played some Sammy K the other day, you guys. This is so cool, look at this. And there are, they look like they're in great condition to begin with, but you know, they're, rest oh, I can't believe this. They're all restored and this is gonna be super, super cool. All right, let's take a closer look. Okay guys, let's give each of these records a little bit of a closer look. So this is the uh, Mancini album. Uh, it's a Dynagroove album, so it's got magnificent sound developed by RCA Victor. Um, and again, we've got the labels on here from Vintage Record Club assuring that it passed their uh, QC process, which is super cool. Because like I said, they go in there and they clean it in a very special cleaning method um, in a climate controlled environment. Uh, they make sure that the case has been cleaned and restored and they put a new slip cover on it and a new paper sleeve as well. Here's the Glenn Miller one. Obviously, I'm most excited about this. Uh, the authentic sound of Glenn Miller. Super awesome. I mean, this is, this is, I'm just jazzed. But you know, it is vintage, so you'll see like, you know, old uh, pen markings on it. You know, these are historic. They're not brand new records. So check this out. Look at this. Swing and Sway with Sammy K. Up here, some awesome graphics. Columbia. Check this out. Guaranteed high fidelity and 360 hemispheric sound. Another Columbia first. Guaranteed high fidelity. As you guys know, I love that kind of marketing stuff. I think that's so cool. All right, let's go ahead and open one up and see uh, what it looks like on the inside. So you guys, the idea of getting you know three vintage records a month or even one, depending on what plan you would sign up for, sounds super fun and exciting. So let's go ahead and open it up here and see what the inside looks like. We got an adhesive flap here. And this is a vintage record, you guys. I mean, it's got some tape on there from the previous owners. And inside, we've got a brand new uh, paper sleeve, which is super cool. Um, and they will re they'll try to keep the original ones if possible, but it, because they have the artwork on them, but if they're not protecting the record, then they'll replace them. So let's take a look at the record itself. Oh yeah. Look at that, you guys. 
that is a clean record. You know, they want you to enjoy, like it says on their website, vintage records, not vintage dust. So they get all that dirt and grime out of the grooves. And this is clean, you guys. It's in good condition. It's in great condition. And this is something that, you know, we can put on the record player and enjoy right now, which we're going to do. So I am going to uh, pick a couple of songs here and we will give it a listen. And every week we have a poll. And this week's poll is what record player should we use on the show? We had a tie between the U-turn and the Victrola. So my wife, acting as tiebreaker, picked the U-turn. And I, picking between the Maple U-turn uh, special or the red U-turn basic, pick the U-turn basic. So here we go, and I have not listened to this record yet, you guys, so um, we're gonna experience the quality uh, together. I've got it hooked up to the powered speakers. I didn't do a direct line in, so it's just like you're in the room with me, and let's give it a listen. <laughs> So we definitely have a little bit of crackle on there still, but you know what? That's part of the charm uh, to a vintage record, I think. So I don't think that's any great loss. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to a couple other records they sent us. Okay, guys, let's listen to the Henry Mancini album. I like it. This one sounds cleaner. Um, the recording itself is mo more modern, so obviously it's gonna have a richer sound uh, versus the Glenn Miller, but yeah, this one, uh, I like it as well. Very, very cool. All right, let's go on to the third one. Okay, and finally, here is the Sammy K album, and this is Sammy K playing a Glenn Miller song, which is kind of sacrilegious, but for you guys, I'm willing to do anything. So here we go, let's listen to the third record they sent us. <laughs> I didn't hate that song like I thought I would. It was actually pretty good. Uh, again, it sounds good, you guys. I mean, these are, you know, I would consider these good, clean, vintage records. If you're rural, if you're not able to get to, you know, some good, you know, places to look for records, I think this is an invaluable service. So very, very cool. Um, I think it's awesome. So yeah, definitely a thumbs up. Check them out, vintagerecordclub.com. And now, it's time for Comment of the Week. Okay guys, and for the comment of the week, I am going with Kenneth Potts, who said uh, the following in regards to our recent show about rare radio records. He says, Joy House was a 1964 French murder mystery that starred Jane Fonda. Now, what I love about this comment is he is educating me. I had asked during that show, if you guys know more about this than I do, which is frequently the case, please teach me. And this is a two-way street, you guys. I want to learn from you and share what little I know as well. So uh, this is the comment of the week. Thank you, Kenneth, for commenting and educating me um, on these records. I think that's so cool. Uh, make sure you guys are commenting throughout the week as well because I read all the comments. I try to, you know, get back to as many as I can. Uh, I give a heart symbol to the ones I love, and which means, you know, we need to do that for that one. There you go. Um, so definitely um, want you guys to comment and maybe your comment will be featured as comment of the week. All right, guys, Kiki and I approve for sure. You gotta check them out, vintagerecordclub.com. Now, in terms of the pricing, they have three packages and the pricing is just amazing. So for only this amount, you can get one record per month and it goes through that whole five-step restoration process we talked about and it's a great option. And if you wanna step it up a little bit and get three records a month, you only pay this much. Now, with that, you get the exact same product times three every single month. If you want to take it to the absolute max, you can tell them what genre you want and they will curate records based on what you're specifically looking for in terms of genre. And that only costs this much. So any way you look at it guys, it's a great price. Highly recommend it. Check it out. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the show. I really, really appreciate it. Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. What did we lose? Thank you for watching Recordology Deluxe. Don't forget to subscribe and watch our midweek show Recordology Express on Wednesdays.